YouTube people. Today we're going to take a look at how to get yourself a really inexpensive field monitor. And if you're not familiar with the field monitor, um, the reason I want one is because I've got this camcorder here. I, you know, I'm, I'm just an amateur uh, videographer, YouTuber, and I don't have the nicest equipment. And this particular LCD screen uh, that I use to frame my shots with my camera is not very high quality at all. This camera is, you know, six, six years old at this point. Um, but sometimes that makes it really hard to frame my shots. You know, it doesn't cut off. Whatever it's cutting off in the edge of this screen is not where it's cutting off on the actual camera when I actually get my footage out. So that makes it hard. So this does have an HDMI out. And I found this on Amazon. It's a Tontec 1280 by 800 monitor that's meant to be used with Raspberry Pi projects, but I figure I can adapt this easily to a field monitor that's gonna make it really easy to frame my shots when I'm not in a studio environment. I can think of several other uses for this. I've got some Raspberry Pis. Um, I can use it as a little, I can use it with my a gaming computer as an extra monitor to kind of keep tabs on uh, you know, maybe read a tutorial on how to play the game underneath it. Uh, just kind of have a second monitor capability of using this. So, it, I think that this little monitor is really going to help me out in lots of different areas. So, anyways, let's do an unboxing and see what the Tontec comes with. It's about $90 on Amazon if you're looking for something like this. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Inside the box, we've got our little monitor, and its first impressions are it feels very light. Let's get that packaging off of it. Okay, got some buttons on the front there. Looks like a volume up, power, and some function devices. Let's look at the inputs. You've got a HDMI, power, VGA, and RCA. It also look like some audio ins. So there's that. Inside the box we have our HDMI cable. Mounting. Sticker for the mount. And a AC-DC adapter. Let's take a look at that. This looks like it is a small little unit. It's a 12 volt, which is easy to find. This looks very similar to uh, lots of portable hard drives use a unit like this, so it might be possible to cross use them uh, as long as you make sure that the pins match and the outputs match. So uh, there's the unboxing. Let's go ahead and see if we can rig it up as our field monitor. I just wanted to show the, the mounting structure on this little monitor because it's actually pretty cool. So you have two options. This little screw can either go in the screw on the bottom like that, which gives you one angle, but it also has this little washer available which you can slide in the back of the monitor there and it will then let you screw it on at a different angle. So you get lots of options on how you want the angle to come off of this device. So, Okay, so I've got this little monitor hooked onto the tripod. I just mounted uh, the mount onto the tripod and fastened the monitor to it. It comes with that little mount, so it's pretty easy to do that. And you can see that I now, instead of having this small low resolution preview, have a large uh, viewing space where I can actually see what the video is going to look like. Uh, obviously, color reproduction is not going to be the best. This is actually, you know, a fairly inexpensive monitor, but uh, it definitely gives me an edge to be able to frame shots correctly, make sure I'm in focus, and hey, it's way cheaper than any field monitor, even the cheap ones that I could find. So this actually I'm pretty impressed with and uh, it's working out pretty well. So let's look at one other use case for this monitor. So here is the second use case I have for this little teeny monitor. 
Now what I've got here is a Predator X34 with G-Sync monitor, which I traded my three monitor setup for just the single one just to reduce the clutter. And then I, I really loved it for gaming, but I still wanted to keep my eye on either a tab I had open or just on the monitoring of the temperatures inside my computer case. So I just attach this little monitor to the HDMI port and I can game on the upper monitor and keep tabs on anything else, uh, instant messengers and things like that on the lower monitor. And as you can see in game, I'm still able to come down here and browse the web or just simply uh, keep tabs on what's, what my computer is doing. So uh, I find that to be a pretty sweet little setup um, in order to uh, game and still be able to stay connected and read tutorials or whatever I want to do to be able to know what's going on. So a uh, great little monitor for, for 90 bucks on Amazon and I'm excited about it. So. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it helps you for a field monitor or a mini little display gauge monitor. And thanks for watching the C Butters channel. Please subscribe for more tech videos and we'll keep bringing them to you. Thanks.